On June the 25th of 2000, a visit to Disneyland California turned into a harrowing nightmare for Christina Moreno and her family. While enjoying their honeymoon, they decided to board the Indiana Jones Adventure Ride, a popular attraction inspired by the renowned film franchise. Little did they know that this decision would lead to a series of devastating events that would ultimately result in Christina's death. However, the circumstances surrounding Christina's death divided opinions and stirred controversy as a lawsuit ensued which made many believe that this wasn't Disneyland's fault. So let's talk about it. This is Death at Disneyland, the infamous death of Christina Moreno. Not much is known about today's victim, but we do know that she was called Christina Moreno, she was 23, and she was visiting the United States in June of 2000 for her honeymoon. She was originally from Spain and living in Barcelona, and had been staying in the Hollywood area for their trip. On June the 25th of 2000, the couple had planned to spend the day at Disneyland California, something that they'd always wanted to do. Their day was going as you'd expect, until the couple decided to board the Indiana Jones Adventure Ride, which is where the nightmare began. The Indiana Jones Ride, officially known as the Indiana Jones Adventure, Temple of the Forbidden Eye, was a popular attraction at Disneyland, which opened on March the 3rd, 1995, at Disneyland Park in Anaheim, California. The ride was inspired by the Indiana Jones film franchise starring Harrison Ford, which debuted in 1981. Riders were board rugged troop transport vehicles resembling military trucks, designed to navigate rough terrain and simulate the feeling of an expedition. The vehicles would take visitors through a series of elaborate sets, including dark passageways, treacherous bridges, and encounters with animatronic creatures and special effects. It combined speed sections, sudden turns, and immersive special effects to create an exciting and immersive adventure that transported visitors into the world of Indiana Jones. The duration of the Indiana Jones ride varied, but on average, it lasted approximately three to four minutes. The ride wasn't exactly fast, but the vehicles would simulate fast-paced maneuvers, sudden stops, and dramatic turns, giving the riders a sensation of speed and excitement without actually traveling at high speeds. To ensure rider safety, the Indiana Jones ride employed various restraints. Each vehicle was equipped with individual lap bars that would secure passengers in their seats during the ride. Additionally, seatbelts were provided to further enhance safety. These safety restraints were designed to keep riders in place and prevent them from standing or exiting the vehicle whilst in motion. So on that day, they boarded the Indiana Jones ride and the ride began and everything appeared normal. The ride itself had an impeccable safety record and as usual was running fine. Christina, however, was not enjoying the ride. She appeared to look sick and began complaining that she didn't feel right. Nevertheless, the ride continued and finished around four minutes later. Christina and her partner left the ride, but Christina wasn't okay. She now had a splitting headache, she couldn't think properly, and her partner was obviously very worried. They thought it would be best to call it quits on the day and head back to their Hollywood hotel, which they did. Unfortunately for Christina, the headache didn't pass, it just got worse. Christina then passed out, which prompted her partner to rush her to Cedars Sinai Medical Center, where it was discovered that she had a brain hemorrhage. A brain hemorrhage, also known as a cerebral hemorrhage, is a serious medical condition characterized by bleeding within the brain. It occurs when blood vessels in the brain rupture or leak, leading to the accumulation of blood in or around the brain tissue. This bleeding can cause pressure and damage to brain cells, leading to a range of symptoms depending on the location and extent of the hemorrhage. After this was discovered, she was transported by air ambulance back to Spain so she could be with her family, but Christina never regained consciousness. A little over two months after the incident, Christina was pronounced dead on September the 1st of 2000. One year after Christina died, Christina's family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Disneyland. They claimed that this was not the first case of brain injury caused by the ride, and that Disney decided to push the envelope to the extreme in creating the attraction. Now at this point, Disney had no idea that the death had occurred and only knew about it once the family had filed their lawsuit. The first statement Disneyland made said, safety always has been and continues to be our top priority. 
Their lawsuit contended that the victim's demise resulted from the ride's violent shaking and imposed stresses. During an interlocutory appeal, the California Supreme Court ruled that amusement parks, including Disney, are regarded as common carriers. The classification of amusement parks as common carriers was significant in the legal context of this case. The designation of common carrier imposes a higher duty of care on these establishments towards their patrons. This classification recognised that amusement parks, including Disney, have a duty to provide a safety experience for their guests and take appropriate measures to prevent harm or injury. Labelling amusement parks as common carriers indicate that they should adhere to strict safety standards and be held accountable if they fail to meet those standards. The Disney company contested this lawsuit brought by the Moreno family, asserting that the common carrier standard should not be applied to an amusement ride while transportation is viewed as incidental consequence of entertainment and thrill. The Moreno family argued that the Indiana Jones attraction, designed to resemble off-road jeeps, is a carrier of passengers for monetary gain and should be deemed as a common carrier. They also pointed out a previous court ruling that classified Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean ride as a common carrier. Regarding Christina, it came out that she had pre-existing aneurysms in the past, but her lawyer argued that the roller coaster still caused her death. The coroner backed up the Moreno family and believed that the stress of the ride contributed to her death. The Court of Appeal ultimately concluded that the Indiana Jones ride met the criteria of a common carrier based on the broad language of being a carrier of persons and Disney lost the lawsuit and ultimately settled for an undisclosed fee in 2005. After the settlement was reached, the Moreno family attorney said, there has been a misrepresentation and false advertising in terms of safety and things have to change. It cannot be business as usual when people are dying on these attractions. The settlement still continues to stir controversy as many believe that this was a freak accident rather than a wrongful death. Attorneys at Disneyland maintain their innocence and claim that the woman's death was unrelated to the ride. No changes were made to the ride until 2002, but Disney claimed that this had nothing to do with the incident and more to make it reliable and durable. Let me know what you think about this case in the comments below. This is not an AI channel, I do all of this myself, the research, writing, editing, thumbnails, etc. And I upload every Thursday. So if you enjoy my work, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.